Search and Rescue is the search for and provision of aid to people who are in distress or imminent danger. The general field of search and rescue includes many specialty sub-fields, typically determined by the type of terrain the search is conducted over. These include mountain rescue, ground search and rescue including the use of search and rescue dogs, urban search and rescue in cities, combat search and rescue on the battlefield and air-sea rescue over water. International Search and Rescue Advisory Group is a UN organization that promotes the exchange of information between national urban search and rescue organizations. The duty to render assistance is covered by Article 98 of the UNCLOS. Topic. Definitions There are many different definitions of search and rescue, depending on the agency involved and country in question. Canadian Forces. Search and rescue comprises the search for, and provision of aid to, persons, ships or other craft which are, or are feared to be, in distress or imminent danger. United States Coast Guard. The use of available resources to assist persons or property in potential or actual distress. United States Defense Department – A search is an operation normally coordinated by a Rescue Coordination Center RCC, or Rescue Sub-Center, using available personnel and facilities to locate persons in distress. And rescue is an operation to retrieve persons in distress, provide for their initial medical or other needs, and deliver them to a place of safety. Topic. History One of the world's earliest well-documented SAR efforts ensued following the 1656 wreck of the Dutch merchant ship Virgil Drake off the west coast of Australia. Survivors sought help, and in response three separate SAR missions were conducted, without success. On 29 November 1945, a Sikorsky R-5 performed the first civilian helicopter rescue operation in history, with Sikorsky's chief pilot Dimitri Jimmy. Viner in the cockpit, using an experimental hoist developed jointly by Sikorsky and Breeze. All five crew members of an oil barge, which had run aground on Penfield Reef, were saved before the barge sank. In 1983, Korean Airlines Flight 007, with 269 occupants, was shot down by a Soviet aircraft near Sakhalin. The Soviets sent SAR helicopters and boats to Soviet waters, while a search and rescue operation was initiated by U.S., South Korean, and Japanese ships and aircraft in international waters, but no survivors were found. In July 2009, Air France Flight 447 was lost in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, an international SAR effort was launched, to no avail. A third effort nearly two years later discovered the crash site and recovered the flight recorders. In early 2014, Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 crashed under mysterious circumstances. Many nations contributed to the initial SAR effort, which was fruitless. In June 2014, the Australian Transport Safety Bureau commissioned the MV Fugro Equator to lead a three-month survey of the ocean bed, for which it had budgeted $60 MN. At the same time, Malaysia announced it had spent $9.30 MN to date on fuel and food in its own effort. The search for Flight 370 has become the largest SAR so far with the largest budget. Topic. Types of search and rescue Topic. Ground Lowland search and rescue Ground search and rescue is the search for persons who are lost or in distress on land or inland waterways. People may go missing for a variety of reasons. Some may disappear voluntarily, due to issues like domestic abuse. Others disappear for involuntary reasons such as mental illness, getting lost, an accident, death in a location where they cannot be found or, less commonly, due to abduction. Ground search and rescue missions that occur in urban areas should not be confused with urban search and rescue which in many jurisdictions refers to the location and extraction of people from collapsed buildings or other entrapments. In most countries, the police are the primary agency for carrying out searches for a missing person on land. Some places have voluntary search and rescue teams that can be called out to assist these searches. Topic. Mountain rescue 
Mountain rescue relates to search and rescue operations specifically in rugged and mountainous terrain. Topic: <laughs> Cave rescue. Cave rescue is a highly specialized form of rescue for rescuing injured, trapped, or lost cave explorers. Topic urban search and rescue Urban search and rescue US and R, or USAR, also referred to as heavy urban search and rescue H -USAR, is the location and rescue of persons from collapsed buildings or other urban and industrial entrapments. Due to the specialized nature of the work, most teams are multidisciplinary and include personnel from police, fire and emergency medical services. Unlike traditional ground search and rescue workers, most US and R responders also have basic training in structural collapse and the dangers associated with live electrical wires, broken natural gas lines and other hazards. While earthquakes have traditionally been the cause of US and R operations, terrorist attacks and extreme weather such as tornadoes and hurricanes have also resulted in the deployment of these resources. Topic. Combat search and rescue Combat Search and Rescue CSAR, is search and rescue operations that are carried out during war that are within or near combat zones. Topic. Maritime Search and Rescue Maritime search and rescue is carried out at sea to save sailors and passengers in distress, or the survivors of downed aircraft. The type of agency which carries out maritime search and rescue varies by country, it may variously be the Coast Guard, Navy or voluntary organizations. When a distressed or missing vessel is located, these organizations deploy lifeboats to return them to land. In some cases, the agencies may carry out an air sea rescue ASA. This refers to the combined use of aircraft, such as flying boats, float planes, amphibious helicopters and non-amphibious helicopters equipped with hoists, and surface vessels. Topic. By nation Topic. Australia National Australian Search and Rescue Service is provided by three authorities, the Joint Rescue Coordination Centre JRCC, at the Australian Maritime Safety Authority AMSA, the Australian Defence Force ADF, and the State Territory Police Jurisdictions. Basically the JRCC respond to national and international registered aircraft, offshore marine incidents and beacon activations. The ADF are responsible for Australian and foreign military personnel, vehicles, vessels and aircraft, while within the Australian SRR. Police are responsible for coastal marine incidents, lost persons, unregistered aircraft, inland waterways, ports and identified beacons. The JRCC operates a 24-hour Rescue Coordination Centre RCC, in Canberra and is responsible for the national coordination of both maritime and aviation search and rescue. The JRCC is also responsible for the management and operation of the Australian ground segment of the Coastbar Sarsat Distress Beacon Detection System. The JRCC's jurisdiction spans Australia and as well as covering 52.8 million square kilometres of the Indian, Pacific and Southern Oceans constituting about 11% of the Earth's surface. The JRCC is staffed by SAR specialists who have a naval, merchant marine, air force, civil aviation or police service background. The JRCC also coordinates medical evacuations, broadcasts maritime safety information and operates the Australian Ship Reporting System AUSREP. In coordinating search and rescue missions, the JRCC will call on assistance from organisations as appropriate, such as the Defence Forces, Border Protection Command, trained aviation organisations, civil SAR units, emergency medical helicopters, state police services and trained air observers from the State Emergency Service. There are also other organizations, such as the non-profit Westpac Lifesaver Rescue Helicopter Service that is based at a number of sites around Australia and contracted by various authorities to deliver search and rescue services. State State Police in many states operate state-based search and rescue squads, such as the Victoria Police Search and Rescue Squad, which provides specialist expertise, advice and practical assistance in land search and rescue on most terrain including snow and vertical cliff search and rescue. 
There are also state-based volunteer search and rescue groups such as the New South Wales Says Bush Search and Rescue in New South Wales and Bush Search and Rescue Victoria in Victoria. These state-based groups draw searches from bushwalking, mountaineering and specialist rescue clubs within their state. A few groups respond on horseback as mounted search and rescue. The State Emergency Service is a collection of volunteer-based emergency organizations established in each state or territory which are responsible for many rescue efforts in urban and rural areas and in any rescue that results from flood or storm activity. In rural areas the SES conducts most bush search, vertical and road traffic rescues. In urban areas they assist the police and fire services with USAR. Topic. Azerbaijan Search and rescue operations in Azerbaijan are managed by the Ministry of Emergency Situations onshore in cooperation with the State Civil Aviation Administration in air and the State Maritime Administration offshore. Topic. Belgium Search and rescue duties along the Belgian part of the North Sea are executed by the Belgian Air Component. From its Coxida Air Base it operates five Westland Sea King Mk.48 helicopters. <inaudible> Brazil Search and rescue duties in Brazil are the responsibility of the Salvamar Brazil MRCC Brazil, of the Brazilian Navy and Divisão de Busca e Salvamento English, Search and Rescue Division, of the Brazilian Air Force. Topic Canada Air and Marine Search and Rescue duties in Canada are the responsibility of the Canadian Forces and Canadian Coast Guard in conjunction with volunteer organizations. The Department of National Defense DND, has overall responsibility for the Coordinated Search and Rescue System. SAR operations are organized by Joint Rescue Coordination Centers JRCC. The JRCC are manned 24 hours a day by SAR coordinators from the Canadian Coast Guard and Canadian Forces. Authority for the provision of maritime SAR is assigned to the Minister of Fisheries and Oceans by the Canada Shipping Act and the Canada Oceans Act. Ground and Inland Water Search and Rescue GSAR, is the responsibility of provinces and territories with the Royal Canadian Mounted Police RCMP, and other police forces coordinating operations, often using volunteer GSAR teams operating in specific areas under provincial coordinating bodies. The Canada Shipping Act, most recently passed in 2001, is the framework document that funds international SAR activities. The Canadian Forces have five assigned SAR squadrons, 103 Search and Rescue Squadron, C. FB Gander, CH-149 Cormorant 413 Transport and Rescue Squadron, CFB Greenwood, CH-149 Cormorant and CC-130 Hercules 424 Transport and Rescue Squadron, CFB Trenton, CH-146 Griffin and CC-130 Hercules 435 Transport and Rescue Squadron, CFB Winnipeg, CC-130 Hercules 442 Transport and Rescue Squadron, CFB B. Comox, CH-149 Cormorant and CC-115 Buffalo plus three Combat Support Squadrons with SAR roles, 417 Combat Support Squadron, CFB Cold Lake, CH-146 Griffin 439 Combat Support Squadron, CFB Bagotville, CH-146 Griffin 444 Combat Support Squadron, CFB Goose Bay, CH-146 Griffon Some municipalities and provinces have their own SAR units. Holton Regional Police Service Marine Unit, using Marine Craft on Lake Ontario Toronto Police Service Marine Unit, using Marine Craft on Lake Ontario Peel Regional Police Marine Unit, using Marine Craft on Lake Ontario and Rivers in Peel Region Ontario Provincial Police Marine Unit, using Marine Craft on Great Lakes excluding Lake Michigan and Georgian Bay Durham Regional Police Marine Unit, using Marine Craft on Lake Ontario and Lakes within Durham Region York Regional Police Marine Unit, using Marine Craft on Lake Simcoe 
Niagara Regional Police Marine Unit, using marine craft on Niagara River and Lake Ontario Vancouver Police Department, using marine craft on waterways around the City of Vancouver Heavy Urban Search and Rescue Toronto, using land-based equipment Brockville Police Service Marine Patrol Unit, using a boat on the St. Lawrence River there, are also volunteer non-profit associations that conduct SAR in Canada, British Columbia. There are 80 community-based volunteer groups in BC providing GSAR services within assigned areas in conjunction with police, ambulance and other agencies. The GSAR groups are represented by the British Columbia Search and Rescue Association Alberta, BC Cave Rescue, Alberta, British Columbia Canada Task Force 2, Alberta Civil Air Search and Rescue Association EIT Search and Rescue Grand Prairie Technical Search and Rescue Association, Alberta Halifax Regional Search and Rescue, Nova Scotia North Shore Rescue, British Columbia. Pincher Creek Search and Rescue, Alberta Quebec Secours, Quebec. River Valley Ground Search and Rescue, New Brunswick Roberts Bank Lifeboat, Delta, BC Royal Canadian Marine Search and Rescue, RCM SAR, Sovietage Benevola Outerway, Ottawa Volunteer Search and Rescue, Ottawa, On and Gatineau, QC Search and Rescue Manitoba, Sarman, Manitoba Vancouver Urban Search and Rescue, Canadian Task Force 1, British Columbia York Sunbury Search and Rescue, New Brunswick. Topic. Croatia. In Croatia the SAR service is part of the Croatian Navy and the Croatian Coast Guard with their headquarter in Rijeka. Topic Cyprus The Cyprus Republic Search and Rescue SAR system is organized by the Cyprus Joint Rescue Coordination Center JRCC Larnaca. The JRCC Greek, is an independent agency of the Ministry of Defense of the Republic of Cyprus that started its operations on a 24-hour basis on 7 August 1995 as a unit of the Cyprus Air Force Command. On 1 March 2002, the JRCC took full responsibility for investigating, organizing, coordinating and executing every SAR incident operation in the Republic of Cyprus Search and Rescue Region SRR. JRCC Larnaca operated as a military unit until 26 July 2010, when JRCC was transformed to an independent agency under the Ministry of Defence with the Minister being responsible for its operational aspects. Logistic and technical support is the responsibility of the Ministry of Communications and Works. Its primary mission is to organize the Cyprus Republic Search and Rescue System, to coordinate, control and direct SAR operations in its area of responsibility, which is identical to the Nicosia FIR, in order to find and rescue people whose lives are at risk, as a result of an air or naval accident, in the least possible time. This is achieved by coordinating all the different agencies involved such as the Cyprus Police Aviation Unit, the Cyprus Port and Naval Police, the Cyprus National Guard Naval Command, the Cyprus National Guard Air Force Command, the Cyprus Civil Defence and other secondary units. The JRCC reports directly to the operational control of the Ministry of Defence and it is staffed by qualified personnel of the Cyprus National Guard, mainly from the branches of the Navy and the Air Force. Topic. Denmark Search and rescue operators in Denmark are primarily Danish Air Force Squadron 722, Danish Navy Air Squadron, Naval Home Guard and the Danish Maritime Safety Administration, coordinated by the Joint Rescue Coordination Center, operated by the Navy and Air Force in the Danish Naval Command's facilities near Aarhus. Internationally the Danish works mainly with Germany, Norway and Sweden. With the two latter, the annual exercises Baltic SAREX and SCAN SAR are conducted. SAR services in Denmark started in 1957 with seven Sikorsky S 55s. Their piston engines produced only 550 horsepower, 410 kilowatts, and they had limited fuel capacity, so their operational range was short. To increase the operational area, Pembroke twin engine fixed wing aircraft were employed for search. These aircraft would localize the distressed persons and the S-55s would then rescue them. The SAR service was started for respond to fighter plane crashes as 79 aircraft crashed, with 62 dead, in the period 1950–1955, but civilian SAR duties are also conducted. In 1962 eight ship-based aerospatia Alouette IIIs were received. These were primarily meant for the ships patrolling the North Atlantic, but also supported the S-55s. 
In 1964–1965 the seven S-55s were replaced with eight Sikorsky S-61A helicopters. This helicopter was originally designed for anti-submarine warfare, but the Danish variant had the heavy dipping sonar equipment removed and extra fuel tanks added, giving the helicopters longer range. In 1977 radar was installed and in 1990 FLRR was added. Further avionics and navigation systems, including GPS, have also been added over time. In 1977 the Naval Air Squadron was re-established as an independent squadron in the Navy and had their Alouette IIIs replaced with Westland Lynx helicopters. Their primary operational area was still the North Atlantic, but they continued their support role, although this was reduced with the introduction of the S-61s. In 2006, the first of the S-61s was replaced by one of 14 new Augusta Westland EH-101 Merlin helicopters. In 2007 the Danish Defence held a public display in Horsens, to raise awareness about rescue services and maritime safety. Maritime SAR is important because Denmark has a relative long coastline to its land mass. In 2008, the SAR forces in Denmark were equipped with eight A101, one or two Lynx, 34 naval home guard vessels, and 21 rescue vessels, as well as the naval vessels at sea. The A101s operate from bases in Aalborg, Skridstrup, and Roskilde. When the seawater temperatures are low, a helicopter is also deployed to the island of Bornholm in the Baltic Sea. The Lynx operates from Karup. Maritime vessels are spread out through the entire coastline and on islands. The S-61s and A-101s have a crew of six, two pilots, a navigator, a flight engineer, a physician and a rescue swimmer. Topic. Estonia The Estonian Border Guard is the Estonian security authority responsible for the border security. It is the main support organization for search and rescue missions in Estonia, and operates a small fleet of SAR vessels and helicopters. <inaudible> Finland In Finland local rescue services i.e. fire departments are responsible for land and inland water SAR. The border guard is responsible for maritime areas. These organizations alert and decide on the most suitable response for the location and situation. The country also has several volunteer organizations such as the Volunteer Fire Department VPK, the Finnish Lifeboat Institution SMPS, and the Red Cross Finland SPR. Topic. Germany Search and rescue in German waters is conducted by the German Maritime Search and Rescue Service with air support by the German Navy and the German Air Force. All incoming requests are coordinated by the Maritime Rescue Coordination Center in Bremen. The DGZRS is a non-governmental organization entirely supported by donations. Also the German Coast Guard provides SAR services. Besides the offshore search and rescue services, the German Air Force provides free Saudi Reels command posts on a 24-7 basis with the Bell UH-1 Dehui. Further, the Technisches Hilfswerk is a key component of the German disaster relief framework. It is, among other things, regularly involved in urban search and rescue efforts abroad. Topic. Hong Kong SAR operations are conducted by the Government Flying Service GFS, and before 1993 by the Royal Hong Kong Auxiliary Air Force. The GFS conducts maritime SAR within the 400 nautical mile 740 km radius of the Hong Kong Flight Information Region As of 2010, the GFS fleet consists of nine aircraft including two BAE Jetstream 41 for aerial SAR surveillance. Three Eurocopter Super Puma, Super Puma L2, inshore and offshore SAR. Four Eurocopter EC 155B1 inshore SAR. Other civilian search and rescue units in Hong Kong include Civil Aid Service, works in conjunction with the Hong Kong Fire Services Department and the air support from the Government Flying Service, also provides mountain rescue service. Hong Kong Fire Services, Hong Kong Marine Police, various vessels and rescue divers, with air support from the GFS. 
Hong Kong Maritime Rescue Coordination Center is responsible for coordinating other civil agencies in regards to marine SAR operations in waters around Hong Kong Countryside Volunteer Search Team Iceland The Icelandic Coast Guard is responsible for coordinating all maritime and aviation search and rescue activities in the Icelandic Search and Rescue Region that has the size of 1.9 million square kilometres. The Icelandic Coast Guard operates JRCC Iceland in combination with the Coast Guard's Operation Centre, the Maritime Traffic Service and the coastal radio stations. If aircraft crash site is located on land the control of the rescue operations is diverted to the Icelandic police, which is responsible for SAR operations on land. The Icelandic Coast Guard JRCC Iceland, is the Coastbars Sarsat SAR point of contact. ISAVIA, which operates the air traffic control in Iceland, is responsible for the aviation alerting services. The Icelandic Coast Guard operates maritime patrol aircraft, SAR helicopters and patrol vessels, the Icelandic Association for Search and Rescue Landsbjörg, ICESAR, is a volunteer organization with about 100 rescue teams located all around the island. ICESAR is a great support to SAR operations both on land and sea. All the rescue teams contain groups of specially trained individuals, a specialized INSAR AG external classification certified rubble rescue squad operates under the Icelandic Association of Search and Rescue. It was the first rescue squad to arrive in Haiti following the earthquake of 2010. Topic. Indonesia The National Search and Rescue Agency of Indonesia known in Indonesian as Badan Nasional Penkarian Dan Pertolongan abbreviated BASARNAS, is a government agency responsible for conducting search and rescue duties nationally in Indonesia. BASARNAS may also be assisted in conducting SAR in Indonesia by the TNI, Mobile Brigade Corps, and local fire brigade units. Topic Island Maritime SAR services are provided by two civilian bodies, the Irish Coast Guard and the RNLI. The Coast Guard has responsibility for the Irish Search and Rescue Region. The Royal National Lifeboat Institution has 43 lifeboat stations including inland stations at Enniskillen and Loch Derg, the Coast Guard inshore rescue boats, and community rescue boats at 15 stations, Balanskaligs, Co. Kerry, Ballybunyan, Co. Kerry, Ballyheg, Co. Kerry, Banner, Co. Kerry, Bantry, Co. Cork, Bunman, Co. Waterford, Cahor, Co. Wexford, Kana, Co. Galway, Corrib, Mask Lakes, Co. Galway, Derinani, Co. Kerry, Limerick City, River Shannon, Mallow Search and Rescue, Co. Cork, Shul, Co. Cork, Tremor, Co. Waterford, Waterford City River Rescue, Waterford Marine Search and Rescue. There are some 25 other independent rescue services. Mountain Rescue in Ireland is provided by 12 voluntary teams based in different regions of the country. The Irish Defence Forces are assigned from time to time to carry out search and rescue operations. Ireland Special Forces, the Army Ranger Wing, have been used for search and rescue operations in difficult or dangerous operations on land and at sea. The Irish Air Corps are used for rescue and provide top cover for search and rescue over land or sea and is available for maritime and mountain rescue if needed. The Irish Naval Service frequently assists the other agencies in search and rescue. Its patrol ships at sea in the communications centre at Hallbowline maintain a 24-hour watch on all distress frequencies. Topic. Israel. SAR in Israel is the responsibility of the IDF Home Front Command Search and Rescue SAR. The unit was established at its current strength in 1984, combining all the specialist units that were involved with SAR until that time. The SAR unit is a rapid mobilization force and has an airborne transport and deployment capability for its personnel and equipment. The unit is composed of reserve personnel, with a regular cadre based at the Bahad 16 unit training facility. With a focus on urban SAR, the unit operates specialized equipment, including a locally developed device for locating persons trapped under rubble by detecting seismic and acoustic emissions given off by the victims. The SAR unit also uses search and rescue dogs specially trained to locate people buried under debris. Israeli SAR Resources 
Israel Defense Forces Medical Corps Israel Home Front Command Bahad 16 Oketz Unit Israel Police Israel Aid Magen David Adam ZAKA Topic Italy Italian SAR operations are carried out by the Guardia Costiera, backed up by naval aviation and the Air Force, including 15 Degrees Stormo, the Italian Red Cross, and other organizations. <inaudible> Jordan Jordan's Civil Defense Urban Search and Rescue Team has achieved the UN classification as a heavy USAR team. The team's role mainly earthquake rescue. Topic: <inaudible> Kenya. Kenya's Maritime SAR is conducted by the Kenya Maritime Agency, while the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority is responsible for air traffic SAR within Kenya's waterways and aerospace, respectively. Topic: <inaudible> Macau. Macau's Maritime SAR is conducted by two units the Macau Marine Department and responsible for Maritime SAR within Macau's waterways. The Macau Search and Rescue Coordination Center is under the Vessel Traffic Control Center of Macau of the Maritime Administration of Macau. Malaysia For ground rescue, Malaysia has two main SAR units, Special Malaysia Disaster Assistance and Rescue Team SMART, which reports to the National Security Council and Malaysian Fire and Rescue Department FRDM, Special Tactical Operation and Rescue Team of Malaysia STORM, unit. They are usually supported by the jungle experts, the Aboriginal Police Unit Senoy PRAAQ, Royal Malaysian Police RMP, VAT-69 Commando, Malaysian Armed Force Special Operations Force and Malaysian Civil Defence Force. Both SMART and STORM together with other Fire and Rescue Department Special Operations Forces are often involved in international SAR missions. Maritime SAR is the responsibility of Malaysian Maritime Enforcement Agency and FRDM together with support from the Marine Operations Force and the Malaysian Armed Forces. Topic Malta The responsibility for SAR at sea in the Malta Search and Rescue Region falls under the Armed Forces of Malta AFM. It is carried out by maritime patrol aircraft, helicopters and vessels under the coordination, command and control of the Rescue Coordination Center, the AFM, in close collaboration with the U.S. Coast Guard, also runs a search and rescue training center for international students ref greater than search and rescue training. YouTube. 29 November 2007. Retrieved 8 April 2012, in Maritime SAR Mission Coordination and Planning. To date more than 30 foreign students from 15 countries including Albania, Cameroon, Croatia, Equatorial Guinea and Kenya have attended these courses. Malta is also in talks with Libya about enhancing SAR cooperation between the two countries. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Netherlands. SAR responsibility in the Netherlands is held by the Netherlands Coast Guard, carried out by vessels and aircraft from various organisations among which mostly the Royal Netherlands Sea Rescue Institution, the Dutch Lifeguard Association, the Ministry of Transport and Water Management and the Ministry of Defence Netherlands. Topic New Zealand New Zealand's search and rescue region extends from the South Pole to the southern border of the Honolulu region, including Norfolk, Tonga, Samoa, and Cook Islands. Smaller searches are controlled by the local police, who call on Lanzar for land-based operations, such as for lost hikers known as tramping in New Zealand, and the Royal New Zealand Coast Guard for coastal maritime incidents. Larger maritime search and rescue events, as well as reports of overdue aircraft, fall under the control of the Rescue Coordination Centre New Zealand RCCNZ, based in Avalon, which coordinates response from local Coast Guard, helicopter operators, merchant marine, air force and naval resources. Urban search and rescue falls primarily within the domain of the New Zealand Fire Service, particularly the three USAR task force groups based in Palmerston North, Christchurch, and Auckland. 
These teams draw together numerous specialists and organizations to achieve an integrated multi-agency response. Among those organizations that act in a support capacity for NZFS are response teams (NZRTs). These are regional rescue groups of professional volunteers that train to a minimum industry standard of USAR Category 1R USAR responder, which is also standard for NZFS firefighters. Response teams are registered with the Ministry of Civil Defense and Emergency Management MCDEM, and assist their local MCDEM groups and communities in emergencies to supplement full-time emergency services. Their additional capabilities, which vary among different teams, include high angle rope rescue, storm response, swift water response, medics, welfare, and rural fire support. Many response teams were deployed to assist in the rescue and recovery effort of the 2011 Christchurch earthquake. Other resources Westpac Rescue Helicopter, New Zealand, Charitable Organization New Zealand Land SAR Search Dogs, the official NZ Search Dogs Group providing land search and rescue services under NZ Land SAR, Wilderness and Avalanche Rescue Dogs. Topic. Norway The search and rescue helicopters are operated by the Royal Norwegian Air Force RNOAF, who fly 12 Westland Sea Kings. The Norwegian Sea Kings are due to be replaced. <inaudible> <inaudible> Portugal Three different agencies are responsible for providing search and rescue in Portugal. The Portuguese Navy is responsible for all sea rescues, the Portuguese Air Force for all the rescues originating within the airspace, including aircraft crashes and the Autoridade Nacional de Proteção Civil for all inland rescues. All of the above coordinate closely with each other providing a comprehensive search and rescue service. The Portuguese area of responsibility comprises the Lisbon and Santa Maria Flight Information Regions Topic. Poland In Poland most search and rescue operations are undertaken by the airborne units of the Polish Armed Forces. The Navy currently has the largest SAR fleet of helicopters and also operates a number of small vessels for the purpose of rescuing crewmen of stricken ships. There is also, however a semi-governmental organization known as the Morska Sluzba Pazukiwania i Ratanikwa, Maritime Search and Rescue Service, which provides the vast majority of seaborne services to vessels in distress. The service is currently, as of 2010, in the process of overhauling and replacing a large portion of its fleet of lifeboats. Other civilian search and rescue units in Poland include Gorski Okotniksi Pogotawi Ratunko, GOPR, Mountain Volunteer Search and Rescue Tatzanski Okotniksi Pogotawi Ratunko, TOPR, Tatra Mountains Volunteer Search and Rescue Wodna Okotniksi Pogotawi Ratunko, WOPR, Water Volunteer Search and Rescue Operating on inland and coastal waters South Africa Search and rescue services are offered by various government departments, non-governmental organizations, commercial, private organizations and voluntary organizations organizations in South Africa. There is no single organization responsible for urban, wilderness, swift water, aviation or maritime, sea rescue. Aviation and maritime incidents are the responsibility of the South African Search and Rescue Organization SASAR. SASAR is a voluntary organization that functions under the auspices of the Department of Transport. Its main role is to search for, assist and carry out rescue operations for the survivors of aircraft or vessel accidents. Depending on the nature of the accident, the RCCs ARCC or MRCC coordinate the search and rescue missions. These operations are carried out by other government departments, non-governmental organizations, commercial, private organizations and voluntary organizations. Local resources National Sea Rescue Institute Wilderness Search and Rescue Cape Town Mountain Club of South Africa Search and Rescue Off-Road Rescue Unit Rescue South Africa K9 Search and Rescue Spain 
Search and rescue duties in Spain are the responsibility of the national government, in conjunction with regional and municipal governments. The Sociedad de Salvamento y Seguridad Maritima is the main organization, and has overall responsibility for the maritime search and rescue, that also coordinates the SAR efforts with other agencies. Spanish Navy Spanish Air Force Servicio de Vigilancia Aduanera Servicio Maritimo de la Guardia Civil Instituto Social de la Marina Spanish Red Cross Sweden The Swedish Maritime Administration is responsible for maritime SAR in Swedish waters. The Suidningsalskarpe, or Swedish Sea Rescue Society, is an organization aiming at saving lives and recovering property at sea, much the same as the Norwegian Norsk Selskub till Skibrudnes Redning. The society operates 68 search and rescue stations and some 185 ships manned by 2,100 volunteers, of those more than 300 are on call at any time, and can respond within 15 minutes. In 2011, the volunteers turned out to an emergency 3,274 times. The Swedish Sea Rescue Society is involved 70% of the number SAR missions in Swedish waters. Topic: Switzerland. Riga, Schweizerisch Rettungsflugwacht, Guard Area and Guardia Area, is the air rescue service which provides emergency medical assistance in Switzerland, notably in mountains but also in cases of life-threatening emergencies elsewhere. They will also return a citizen to Switzerland from a foreign country if they are in need of urgent medical care. Riga was established on 27 April 1952 by Dr. Rudolf Buhr, who thought that the Swiss rescue organization needed a specialized air subsection. Topic. Taiwan National Airborne Service Corps NASC, Chinese, is the agency of the Ministry of the Interior of the Republic of China responsible for executing and providing support for search and rescue, disaster relief, emergency medical service, transportation, monitoring, reconnaissance and patrol in Taiwan, Coast Guard Administration CGA, Chinese, is charged with maintaining Maintaining coastal waters and the pelagic zone patrols, smuggling and stowaway crackdowns, maritime rescues, natural resource conservation, and public services. The CGA is considered a civilian law enforcement agency under the administration of the Executive Yuan, though during emergencies it may be incorporated as part of the Republic of China Armed Forces. Ukraine In Ukraine search and rescue is conducted by the State Search and Rescue Aviation Service of the Ministry of Emergencies of Ukraine Ukravia Topic: <laughs> United Kingdom In the UK, land-based searches for a missing person are usually coordinated by the local police. There is a network of local volunteer agencies that can be called out to assist these searches, which are part of the Association of Lowland Search and Rescue. Other voluntary agencies exist to provide specialist search and rescue services, such as the Cave Rescue Organisation and Mountain Rescue Committee of Scotland. These organisations are usually called out indirectly by the police. For example, the British Cave Rescue Council advises that if someone goes missing in a cave, callers should contact the local police who will then summon cave rescue. Urban search and rescue units are run by the fire services. Her Majesty's Coast Guard are in charge of maritime search and rescue missions. The Coast Guard is one of the four emergency services that can be contacted on 999. Their role is to initiate and coordinate the searches. Lifeboats are provided by volunteer agencies, most often by the Royal National Lifeboat Institution. Aircraft for an air sea rescue were originally provided by the Royal Navy and Royal Air Force. Under the program SAR H, they are now operated under contract by Bristow Helicopters. Local resources include Berkshire Lowland Search and Rescue, Cardiff and Vale Rescue Association, Cave Rescue Organization, Cheshire Search and Rescue. 
ERT, Emergency Response Team, Search and Rescue, ERT SAR, Hampshire Search and Rescue, Langdale, Ambleside Mountain Rescue Team, Mercia Inshore Search and Rescue, Norfolk Lowland Search and Rescue, NORLSAR, Northamptonshire Search and Rescue, NSAR, Scarborough and Rydale Mountain Rescue Team, Lowland Rescue Search Dogs Sussex, Suffolk Search and Rescue SURSAR Seven Area Rescue Association Upper Wharfdale Fell Rescue Association West Mercia Search and Rescue WMSAR Topic United States In the United States there are many organizations with SAR responsibilities at the national, state and local level. Most day-to-day -day SAR missions in the U.S. are run by the county sheriffs, except in states like Alaska, where the State Highway Patrol oversees SAR. They in turn, can request help from state and national resources, if they think they need them. A typical sheriff's office has a volunteer SAR team that matches the terrain and population of that county. SAR members are typically trained in the Incident Command System ICS, first aid, and the outdoor skills needed in that terrain and climate. Most of this article is about the federal response to assist large, complicated SAR missions. In January 2008, the United States Department of Homeland Security DHS, released the National Response Framework which serves as the guiding document for a federal response during a national emergency. Search and rescue is divided into four primary elements, while assigning a federal agency with the lead role for each of the four elements. Structural Collapse USAR, Department of Homeland Security Federal Emergency Management Agency Waterborne, United States Coast Guard, United States Coast Guard Auxiliary Inland Wilderness, United States Department of Interior, National Park Service Aeronautical, United States Air Force via the Air Force Rescue Coordination Center and USAF Rescue Wings, Groups and Squadrons in the Air Combat Command, Pacific Air Forces, for Alaska and Hawaii, Air Education and Training Command, Air Force Reserve Command and the Air National Guard, the Civil Air Patrol in its role as the USAF Auxiliary, and the United States Navy and United States Marine Corps, both active and reserve, secondary missions for land-based USN Maritime Patrol and Reconnaissance Squadrons and land-based and sea-based US USN, USMC helicopter squadrons in the U.S. SAR standards are developed primarily by ASTM International and the USNFPA which are then used by organizations such as the Mountain Rescue Association MRA, the U.S. National Association of Search and Rescue NASAR, and the NFPA to develop training that will meet or exceed those standards. Within ASTM International, most standards of relevance to SAR are developed by Committee F-32 on Search and Rescue. Formed in 1988, the committee had 85 current members and jurisdiction of 38 approved standards. Topic: Vietnam. Under command of the central government, National Committee of Search and Rescue is responsible for searching, rescuing and disaster relief. Central Committee of Prevention of Natural Disasters is responsible for analyzing information and monitoring disaster relief processes, under command of Local People's Committee. Each province and municipality has a provincial or city committee of prevention of natural disaster under command of the Ministry of Defense. General Staff, Department of Rescue of Vietnam People's Army is responsible for coordinating all military rescue activities, including ground force rescue activities. Navy, Office of Rescue of Vietnam People's Navy is responsible for coordinating naval rescue activities. Air Force, Office of Rescue of Vietnam People's Air Force is responsible for coordinating Air Force rescue activities. Coast Guard, Office of Rescue of Vietnam Coast Guard is responsible for coordinating coastal rescue activities. Border Guard, Office of Rescue of Vietnam Border Defense Force is responsible for coordinating border rescue activities, under command of the Ministry of Public Security. Vietnam Fire and Rescue Police Department is responsible for fire fighting activities, under command of the Ministry of Transport. Department of Maritime Administration, Vietnam Maritime Search and Rescue Coordination Center, VMRCC, is responsible for maritime rescue activities. BMRCC is divided into four rescue regions 
Vietnam Maritime Search and Rescue Coordination Center of Region 1 operate in Tonkin Gulf. Vietnam Maritime Search and Rescue Coordination Center of Region 2 operate in North Central Sea. Vietnam Maritime Search and Rescue Coordination Center of Region 3 operate in Gulf of Thailand and Southern Sea. Vietnam Maritime Search and Rescue Coordination Center of Region 4 operate in South Central Sea. Corporation of Air Traffic Management, Vietnam Aviation Search and Rescue Coordination Center VARCC, is responsible for air rescue activities. VARCC is divided into three rescue regions Vietnam Aviation Search and Rescue Coordination Center of Northern Vietnam, operate in Northern Region Vietnam Aviation Search and Rescue Coordination Center of Central Vietnam, operate in Central Region Vietnam Aviation Search and Rescue Coordination Center of Southern Vietnam, operate in Southern Region Vietnam Railway Rescue and Natural Calamity Response Center of Northern Vietnam, operates in Northern Region Vietnam Railway Rescue and Natural Calamity Response Center of Central Vietnam, operates in Central Region Vietnam Railway Rescue and Natural Calamity Response Center of Southern Vietnam, operates in Southern Region Topic. Aircraft Rotary and fixed-wing aircraft are used for air and sea rescue. A list of common aircraft used Aerospatia SA-330 Puma Aerospatia SA-360 Dauphin Augusta Westland AW-109 Augusta Westland AW-139 Augusta Westland AW-101 Augusta Westland CH-149 Cormorant Bell R-1 Iroquois Bell CH-146 Griffin Boeing Bertel CH-46 Sea Knight CH-113 Labrador and 113A Voyager Eurocopter Dolphin, variant of Aerospatia SA-360 Dolphin Eurocopter Dolphin HH-65 Eurocopter AS-365 Dolphin II Eurocopter AS-332 Super Puma Eurocopter EC-225 Super Puma Eurocopter AS-532 Cougar Lockheed HC-130 Hercules Lockheed P-3 Orion Sikorsky S-61 Sikorsky S-70 Black Hawk Sikorsky HH-60 Jayhawk Sikorsky HH-60 Pavehawk Sikorsky SH-60 Seahawk Sikorsky S-76 Sikorsky S-92 Sikorsky H-92 Superhawk Sikorsky CH-148 Cyclone Westland Sea King Westland Wessex HC-2 Topic. See also Air Sea Rescue Bayesian Search Theory Cave Rescue Coast Guard Combat Search and Rescue Emergency Locator Beacon Emergency Management Emergency Position Indicating Radio Beacon Station International Aeronautical and Maritime Search and Rescue Manual International Coastbars Sarsat Program International Search and Rescue Competition Maritime Search and Rescue Mountain Rescue PARS Robot, an Iranian drone designed for sea rescue Personal Locator Beacon Rescue Robot Search and Rescue Optimal Planning System Self-Rescue Ski Patrol Urban Search and Rescue